Hi guys, in this video we are recreating this. Here, I have these files. I have created these files with a light motion. If you want to download these files, as always DM me on Instagram. I will provide only the project assets, not the XML files. Please don't ask me for XML files. XML files kills your skills. Okay, let's get into the video. First arrange this elements as I shown in the video. Now adjust the pivot point position of the milk can to this corner. Now adjust this layer pivot point position as shown. Now extend all these layers, duration to 6.15 seconds. Now add a line from the shapes. Adjust the line as shown. Place it under the milk can layer and rename it as milk cans shadow. Now change the line color to black and adjust the line width if needed. Drag this layer under the milk cans layer. Now decrease the opacity of this layer to 20%. Now create one more shadow for Choco's box layer. Let's create shadow for the bowl layer. Now extend these three layers duration. Now add a mark at the first frame Move 12 frames forward and add another one. Now add the position keyframes at this two points for all layers except the foreground and background layers. At the first keyframe, move the elements out of the canvas as I shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now do the same thing for the remaining layers. Now move two frames forward and move the cup layer to that frame. Again, move two frames forward and move the Chaco's box layer to that frame. Now do the same thing for the shadow layers. Now we have something like this. Now at this frame, add a mark. Move 15 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first mark, add the position and the rotation keyframe to the milk cans layer. Move to second mark and adjust the rotation and the position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now at this mark add the vector drawing tool. Draw a path as I shown in the video. Go to Colors and select No Fill. Now enable the stroke and change the stroke color to white and adjust the stroke width if needed. Drag it under the Milk Cans layer. Now apply the Drawing Progress effect to this layer. At the first frame of this layer, add the End keyframe. Move 10 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, decrease the end value to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Let's trim it here. Now add the start keyframe here. Move 10 frames backwards and add another one. Now at the last keyframe, increase the start value to 100%. 
Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now apply the smooth edges effect. Adjust the strength as shown. Now apply one more effect called roughen edges. Adjust the strength as shown. Now at the first frame of this layer, add the evolution keyframe. Move to last frame and increase the evolution value to 2%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Let's add a mark here. Move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now add the position and the rotation keyframes to the milk cans layer. Now at the second mark, change the milk cans position and rotation as I shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now at this frame, add the vector drawing layer. Draw a shape as shown. To draw perfect shapes, you need to learn about the vector drawing. Now change this shape color to white. Let me adjust this shape's points a little bit. Now select the all points and add keyframes. Now move here and create the keyframes again. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Now here modify these points as shown. Now apply the roughen edges effect to this layer. Let's extend this layer duration first. Now adjust the roughen edges, strength. Now at the first frame of this layer, add the evolution keyframe. Move to last frame and increase the evolution value to 5%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now add vector drawing layer. Draw a shape as shown. Now extend this layer duration. Now select these two layers and tap on the masking icon for masking. Now let's create the same rotation animation to the Chaco's box layer. Now here add a circle shape. Go to colors and select no fill to it. Now enable stroke. Let's adjust this shape size and the position. Place it here. Now add a position keyframe here. Move couple of frames forward and change the shape position as shown. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Now apply the auto shake effect. Adjust the magnitude value to 2%.
Let's make this animation a little slower by creating some gap between the two keyframes. Now add a circle shape, adjust it as shown in the video, Now extend these layers duration. Now select this two layers and tap on the exclusion icon for masking. Now add a position keyframe here. Move to the last frame and adjust the position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now let's create more Chacos. After creating more Chacos, drag all Chacos layers under the Chacos box layer. Now we will animate the shadows. At this frame, add the keyframe to the point two. Move 15 frames forward and increase the line size as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now add a position keyframe here. Now here change the line position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now here, add keyframe to the point two. Move 15 frames forward and change the line size back to the original size. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Let's create the position animation. In the same way, animate another shadow. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, comment below whose editing you would like to recreate next.